Today marks the first anniversary of the Pulwama attack. On this day last year, around 40 CRPF personnel lost their lives when a suicide bomber of Pakistan-based Jaish e Mohammed rammed his explosive-laden vehicle into a CRPF convoy on Srinagar Jammu National Highway. In remembrance of the sacrifice made by the CRPF Bravehearts, the Central Reserve Police force paid tribute to the martyrs at the, S at the CRPF training in Pulwama. A martyr's column dedicated to the memory of the soldiers who laid down their lives in the line of duty was also inaugurated at the solemn function. The martyr's column is located close to the spot where the deadly bombing took place. The special guest at the wreath link ceremony was Omesh Gopinath Jadav, a Bengaluru-based singer who took a 61,000-kilometer-long journey across India to meet the families of the 40 Javans who lost their lives in the attack. Jadav travelled to the houses of each of the 40 CRPF personnel to collect the soil and use the construction of their memorial in Jammu and Kashmir's Pulwama district. The soil collected by Jadav was placed at the memorial at the CRPF's Lethpura camp. I have gone to 61,000 km and I have not only been in Pulwama, but I have also been in BSF, SSB, ITB, I have also been in Kargil, and I have also been in their house. Home Minister Amit Shah as well as Defence Minister Rajnath Singh tweeted to pay tribute to the killed CRPF personnel. Shah has said that the killed CRPF personnel has been killed. Shah has said that the killed CRPF personnel has been killed. Shah has said that the killed CRPF personnel has been killed. Remembering the fallen CRPF personnel, the tweet said, India will forever be grateful to our brave hearts and their families who made supreme sacrifice for the sovereignty and integrity of our motherland. India will never forget their sacrifice. The entire nation stands united against terrorism. Beyond's correspondent T. Ishan has filed this report right from the spot where the attack took place last year. Exactly one year has passed when a suicide attacker of Jesh e Mohammed carried out a deadly attack here in Pulwama district, ramming his car into the CRPF cavalcade, which was coming from Jammu to Srinagar. We're standing at this road here in Pulwama, and this you can see on your screens. This is that particular uh, road stretch where this particular vehicle rammed into a CRPF uh, convoy, uh, killing at least 40 CRPF men. Uh, now, after that, there have been many changes brought to the SOP uh, standard operating procedure of the security force, the checking of vehicles, stopping the vehicles uh, for frisking, stopping the traffic when, the, when a convoy passes through the areas. And uh, since then, we also witnessed that how a Balakot attack was carried out by India. And uh, also, this particular attack was one which could have changed the entire thing in the South Asia. Both the countries, India and Pakistan, were on a brink of war after the Pulwama attack. And now, what we have seen so far is that the security force are trying to neutralize as many as militants possible, particularly from the jesh Mohammed since the Pulwama attack, given the fact that Baisha Mohammed is a group which has been carrying out deadly attacks in the Kashmir Valley in the past as well. With Cameron Farrell, Zishanwani for Vion World is One.